of this quickly. Check, sick. check, check, Brother Williams, Mike. All right, come on, son. In those days was Hezekiah sick unto death. All right. And Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos, came unto him uh -huh. and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord, What? Set thine house in order. This is for you. Are you going to obey this? Or are you going to leave out and continue in your false church and continue in your sins? Right. Time to set your house in order. For thou shalt it, die. Mm -hmm. it begins tonight. Yes, sir. Because some of you may not make it back tomorrow. And some of you may not even make it to your doorstep. True. But you heard this message. You, you heard this message. Get mad if you please. It don't mean nothing. You heard this message. Human family. You heard this message. That's right. Preachers. That's telling folks you can divorce and you can remarry and all this stuff. There ain't nothing wrong with being a homosexual and God ain't looking at your hour. He gets looking at you. you. Talk all your foolish talk all you want. You all white churches and all black churches that think only white folk going to be in him. <laughs> and only black folk going to be in him. That's right. One thing about heaven that ain't going to be segregated. No. And you know one thing? I never saw not one, not one. I never heard of one prejudiced death angel. No. <laughs> no. Death angel don't come out of a white man when a black man walks by. Say, oh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Knock off the black man. No. <laughs> white man become pale. Black man become gray and ashy. Yeah. The death angel is hitting now while I'm talking. That's right. For it take God, the only time he's going to retire is when the Lord put him at a hope. Amen. Until then, he got a mission that Amen. will take place up until the coming of the Lord. That's right. What are you going to do about it? Are you going to remain proud and arrogant and self-willed and thank you somebody because you got a few thousand dollars in a bank account? You got your house paid off. Why you think like a fool? You, when you die, you ain't got no money. money. You ain't got no house. You ain't got no car. Nothing. Nothing. So why you think you got so much now? Will you please get it in your brain? Because one day your brain will stop. Yeah. And the doctor will cut open your cranium. Mm. Get a saw. Open your skull up. And you will lay there. Mm. Can't do nothing. Right. You got the, op the greatest. Listen, this is the greatest opportunity since you've been born. Yes. Amen. yes. Amen. To get right with God. Yes. That's right. Amen. Well, Pastor Jennings, I wasn't raised with that religion. Your religion ain't worth nothing. I'm trying to get you to pick up what God said. That's right. It ain't Pastor Jennings religion. It's what God said. Amen. God Almighty demands for you to be holy. Yeah. That's right. What he said? Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. Set thine house in order. All right. For thou shalt die and not live. All right, what happened? Then Hezekiah turned his face toward the wall. Glory to God. That message, man, that message stirred up Hezekiah. Yeah. He didn't go to the Lord. Well, wait a minute, Lord, I'm a king. What you talking about? Hmm. I rule kingdoms. No. The kings of kings spoke here. That's right. He's bigger than Hezekiah. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. Then Hezekiah turned his face toward the wall and prayed unto the Lord. Oh, I want all of y'all to pay attention. He prayed to the Lord and said, remember now, O Lord, I beseech thee. Look at him. Going before God in humility. Yeah. Remember, Lord, I beseech you. How I have walked before thee in truth. Can you say that? Mm. Hallelujah. If you, want, if you want an extension, can you say that? Mm. Now you see what I'm talking? Amen. If you want an extension and want God to have mercy on you, can you say that? Remember now, O oh Lord, you I You got a second you. wife and your first wife still living, you can't say that. No. You baptized Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, you can't say that. No. You are Baptist, a Methodist, a Presbyterian, a Lutheran, a non-denominational, claim you some apostolic, you can't say that. No. Because the only way you can say you walk before him in truth is when you walk before him according to scripture. That's right. Whatever's in scripture, that's truth. Not what your pastor said. That's what right. God said. Yeah. That's right. Am I right? Yeah. 
Yeah. Amen. I want to prepare you to meet God. That's it. That's my assignment. Prepare men and women to meet the Lord. That's it. What did he say? And said, remember now, O Lord, I beseech thee. What is it? How I have walked before thee in truth. And? And with a perfect heart. And a complete heart. And have done that which is good in thy sight. No, I've done that which is good in the sight of my wife. And have done that which is good in thy sight. In the sight of my husband. Good in thy sight. And in, in the sight of bishop. In thy sight. You see? Let me get this to everybody that's here and everyone that's watching. Mm -hmm. I've been saying this more over. Your loyalty must be towards God more than any organization in the world. That's right. Your loyalty towards God must exceed your loyalty to some church. Amen. I don't care if you hold a position. You mean to tell me you're scared to lose your position and you see your bishop lying to you? Mm. Oh, Pastor Jennings, you know, he ordained me. So what? <laughs> That's right. We're talking about life or death. Oh, yes. The Bible said, choose ye this day. Amen. Whom you going to serve? Oh, yeah. If God be God, serve him. Serve him. If Bill be God, serve him. Amen. We are determined yes, not to become what churches have become. That's right. <laughs> Amen. If a minister get up and preach something contrary to the Bible, I'm on, I'm on him. I mean, I'm on him with the nightstick of the scriptures. And if he can't accept correction, you're fired. I don't care how much of us in the spirit you are. If you up here preaching and you just don't stop jerking. Lord said, Lord said, yeah. Mm -hmm. When you done, where did the Lord say that at? Where did the Lord say that at? I want an answer. I don't want no tongues. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Not, not the size of a gnat's ankle will we tolerate deviation from God's word. Your soul is the most precious thing you have. If you lose that, you lost everything. Amen. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Listen. And have done that which is good in thy sight. Uh -huh. And Hezekiah wept sore. Oh. Notice he didn't go before God arrogant, no. proud, no. high-minded. No, no. This man humbled himself. He was a king at that, but he humbled himself. No. When you humble yourself, you ain't looking at the kind of car you drive. No. Huh? You ain't too humble where you can't get on your knees. I got a Versace. Versace would be in hell along with anything else. I don't care if you got a Versace or a Houdini. <laughs> I care nothing about your name brand folly. No, no. I, I'm, I'm laboring to get people back to God. That's right. They mindset got to get the mindset of the old school. That's right. Huh? Mindset got to come on to the old school. So you get these young folk. Well, this is the way I see it. Who cares about the way you see something? God said my thought is not your thought, neither is my way your way. Amen. Do you hear this? And Hezekiah wept sore. Then came the word of the Lord to Isaiah. Saying, after he prayed, after he cried and pleaded out to God, because God let him know, you're going to die. Not live. Get yourself right. Mm -hmm. Anything you're dealing with, get that right. That's right. And let it function under my guidelines and my law. That's it. <coughs> after he cried to the Lord. Then came the word of the Lord to Isaiah. The Lord came back and talked to Isaiah again. Saying, go and say to Hezekiah. What? Thus said the Lord, the God of David, thy father. Uh -huh. I have heard thy prayer. Hey. Hmm. If you're wrong tonight, do you want God to hear your prayer? Your prayer. If you know that if you die tonight, you are lost soul, would you not want God to give you a chance to get right? Amen. Wouldn't you? Amen. Glory to God. What he said? I have heard thy prayer. I've heard your prayer. I have seen thy tears. I've seen your tears. Behold. Look. I will add unto thy days 15 years. I give you another chance. Hallelujah. 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 God is giving the world chance after chance after chance. Some of us sitting here being shot, but you're still living. Shot again. Still living. 
Stabbed? Still living. OD'd? Still living. Drunk? And was in car accidents? Still living. That's right. Was in the operating room and had a flatliner. Boop. Still living. That's true. That's right. You made God promises. If you deliver me, I'll do this. God knew you wouldn't. But he had mercy on you anyway. That's right. And you went right back out there bang, gang banging again. That's right. God is, God is more good to you than you are to yourself. Amen. Am I right, I said? Amen. Having this knowledge, why is it you find it so difficult to give your life to him? Listen, brother, you think it demean your manhood to bow to your Lord? To the Lord. Do you know God can make you bow? That's right. You walk around, I hear what you're saying, Pastor Jenny, but you're going to never get me down, no floor doing some praying. Lord, my Lord. The Lord say, I can't. All of a sudden, he run a pain through your heart, down your leg, down your arm. And take your breath. Not only are you on your knees, you're flat on your face. That's true. That's right. You ain't your own. You better get it in your head. You young, middle-aged, and old, you're going to die. You're going to be ushered in the morgue. Your body will be picked up by somebody. You will be rolled in some church. If you have not repented of your wickedness, what you mean, if you never was sorry and asked God to forgive you for your evil. Yeah. And be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, which is the commandment of God. And come out of these false churches. You will suffer a penalty for being arrogant, self-righteous in your religion and burn in our everlasting hell. That's right. That's right. If anybody want to get right with God and want to take advantage of the chance, like Hezekiah did, if you want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and walk with the message of holiness and be right with God, stand on your feet. If you want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, stand on your feet. Come on, stand on your feet. If you want to get right with God, stand on your feet. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's a God. You that are standing. You see that? You see that brother and sister, them signs over there say baptism? All of you go over there. All of you that are standing, go over there. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. One gospel. I know some of you went to a Catholic church and been sprinkled. You ain't baptized. Sprinkling is not in the Bible. The Bible required that your whole body be buried in water. You that was baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, you're not baptized either. You are baptized wrong. Because Jesus said baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And when the preacher just takes you down in water and say Father, Son, and Holy Ghost and don't call the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, you still ain't baptized. That's right. I'm a father. I'm a son. I'm a husband. But my name is Genesis. God bears the title Father. That flesh bears the title Son. The Spirit bears the title Holy Ghost. What is his name? Jesus. Jesus. And he's the Christ. That's it. All of you that were baptized Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, you were baptized wrong. If you want to get baptized right, According to the Bible, stand on your feet That's right. because you got to get it over again. Because if you die and ain't got it over, you're still lost. Still lost. Anybody else want to be baptized? Look at that crowd just gathering up back there. Glory <laughs> to God. <laughs> yeah. 
Repent! 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 Hallelujah. Repent! Hallelujah. Now, make sure some of you brothers from Newport News go with Brother James to give him a hand. Make sure some of you brothers has gone over there, several of you. If you, been, if you bow your head and raise your hand and tomorrow you accept Christ, you ain't saved. Bible ain't never said bow your head and raise your hands. Amen. You are not saved. Not saved. You held the preacher's hand and repeated the sinner's prayer. You're still not saved. Right. You've been conned. You've been duped. You've been lied to. Repent! You might as well get ready to go over there and be baptized. Yeah. If you hear this message tonight and God snatch your soul, your husband can stand over you and cry and yell and the wife can say, oh, wake up, wait. You lost. lost. Come on back tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock. Don't you go to your church. Come on back at 11 o'clock for round two. May God bless you. May your understanding come open. Come out of the churches that you're in. And walk with the truth of God. Pray that everything go well. We're looking to make settlement. God willing for the new temple here in Port Smith. We already got one in Newport News. What's, what's, the, what's that address? On Camden Street. What is it, Brother Harvey? 1825. 1825. 1825 Camden Street, right? 1825 Camden Avenue. We're looking to make settlement. So all of my Newport News brothers and sisters, I'd rather uh, Port Smith, we want your cooperation. Question real quick, brother, so we can let you go. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was, uh, like I said, I, I, I was uh, thrown out of church until we put news. All right. Uh, I used to go around and run revivals and do gospel <coughs> concerts, making money. Mm hmm. And God delivered me from that. I started going back to those churches and preaching what God was saying. Mm hmm. And I was actually, on several occasions, physically uh, removed from some of the churches. All right. But here's one thing I want to say. And I, and I, and I understand now why when I first raised my hand, you said, wait a minute, brother, because I needed to hear this message. Mm -hmm. And here's where, here's, where, here's where I have a problem. All right. When, when, when the Lord delivered me from uh, that Baptist call, uh, I had a following that was following me back to church. It's a church that, uh, I, that I attended. And uh, the Lord came to me and he told me, he said, these people have followed you here. They didn't follow me. Mm -hmm. They followed you. If you pass them, I'm going to judge you. Mm -hmm. Judge them for the following. Right. Here's the problem. Uh, uh, Brother Williams, will you give me the 23rd chapter or something? Well, let's get to the point because we, we're dealing with time. Let's get to the point. As soon as he reads, this will be over. Well, I know the Bible says, Woe well, unto the pastor that scattered the flock. Well, I understand that. So just get to the point. All right, he has a commandment there. Yes. He says, that no man call himself father. Right. Neither be he called rabbi. Right. For one is your master, even Christ. Your master, even Christ. Yes. And my brother, mm -hmm. you're in direct transgression and disobedience to that particular command. Really? Yes. Why? And because you proclaim yourself to be pastor. Yes. And don't you know that if you call yourself pastor, uh -huh. you're calling yourself Christ. Yeah. He gave hold that thought. Hold, hold it right there. Let me help you. Would you let me help you? Yes. All right, I'm going to help you. Okay. All right? Yeah. All right. I, I, I want to remind you of that clocks go back one hour tonight. Don't forget that, all right? And we can get on back here on time on tomorrow. <laughs> now let me, what's your name, brother? Paul Armstrong. Brother Armstrong, let me help you. Okay. No. By a man being called pastor, he's not calling himself Christ. Because I'm going to show you who put that in the church. Let me show you this. In the, book, right. in the book of Ephesians chapter 4. Let me help you. Ephesians chapter 4 and at verse 11. Listen good. And he gave some apostles. And God, some, this is talking about what God done. 
He gave some apostles. And some prophets. Some prophets. And some evangelists. Some evangelists. Evangelists. More than one. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Go, go back and begin at, uh, begin it again. And he gave some apostles. Plural. Right. I didn't, that's talking about men. Right. Because Christ is no plural to him. All right? And some prophets. Oh, men that got that title. What else? And some evangelists. Men that got that title. What else? And some pastors. That's men. Hold it. Let's respond to it. That was not given by Paul. It was given by Paul. No, it wasn't. Let, let, me, let me educate you again. Let, let me help you. He didn't change it. He did change it. No, he didn't. Let, let, listen. Brother Armstrong, let, let me help you. Brother Armstrong, let me help you. Listen, let me help you, brother. Listen. Paul got his message from God. Amen. Let's read that real quick, son. That's what you want. Paul got it. Give me the first chapter of the book of Corinthians. Chapter 1, begin at verse 1. Don't First be too slow on. Chapter 1 and at verse 1. Let me show you where Paul got his information from. Paul called to be an apostle of Jesus Christ. Paul was called to be an apostle of Jesus Christ. Of Jesus Christ. Through the will of God. He spoke by God's will. And Sosthenes, our brother. Now, everything that Paul preached was from God's will. The word pastor simply means shepherd. Jesus came here and had the title apostle. He also was called minister. He also was called chief shepherd and bishop of our souls. He also was called prophet, because the Bible said God can raise him a prophet like me. Him shall you hear in all things. So Jesus was the first one to have these titles. So when he had these titles, he died and then brought those titles and left them in the church and made man to fulfill those titles that he first wore. That's right. Do you get what I'm telling you? Yeah. So. Yeah, you close out with one rebuttal. Go ahead. Yeah, you do that. When Paul was knocked down yes. and he was blind, uh -huh. what I'm saying to you is this. Yes. That commandment that God gave over in Matthew 23, uh -huh. he was not authorized to change that. Did God ever say in the book of Matthew that man cannot be called pastor? He didn't say man. He said it in Matthew 23. He did? No, he didn't. The word, as brilliant as you are, brother. Just a minute. Matthew. Just, let's read it. Matthew let's read it. 23. Let's read it. Matthew 23. You can't add. You can't take away. I'm strong. Let's read it. Matthew 23. We're at verse 8. That's what. But be ye not called rabbi, for one is your master, even Christ. Be ye not called rabbi. Rabbi mean teacher. For one is your master, even Christ. And all ye are brethren. And call no man your father upon the earth. Yes. For one is your father. Who which, is it? Which is in heaven. Now, you got a son? Finish reading. Neither be ye called masters. Yes. For one is your master, even Christ. I'm not, nobody call me master. No, you don't. Do any of y'all call me master? Do any of y'all call me master? Yes. And he gave some apostles. Do you call him, do you call him pastor? Yes. Yes. one pastor. One Pastor. No, let's, let's read the Bible. Back in Ephesians chapter 4. Let's get by. Just a minute. The Bible going to contradict your arm strong. Just, just a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. Arm strong here. Here now. Arm strong here. Back in Ephesians the Bible. chapter 4 and at verse 11. And he gave some apostles. Either you're going to conduct yourself right. Either you're going to conduct yourself right. Either you're going to conduct. Do you believe the Bible? Just a minute. Do you believe the Bible? Do you believe the Bible? And he gave some apostles. Do you believe the Bible? Armstrong. Armstrong. Do you believe the Bible? Armstrong. Armstrong. You said you was a preacher. Do you believe the Bible? And he gave some apostles. Listen. And he gave some apostles. What else? And some prophets. What else? And some evangelists. What else? And some pastors. Spell it. P-A-S-T-O-R-S. -S. Spell it again. P-A-S-T-O-R-S. -S. Spell it again. P-A-S-T-O-R-S. -S. Spell it again. P-A-S-T-O-R-S. -S. All right, let us all stand. Listen, I'm strong. Repent of your sins and be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Your doctrine, your doctrine is damnable, Armstrong. What you need to do, what you need to do is sit on the pastor Jennings and let me teach you. All right? All right, we're going to get, we're going to ask Elder, 
Elder Ben to close us out with prayer. All right, that's, that's enough, Ron. That's enough, Ron Strong. That's enough. That's right. Be quiet right now. Be quiet now. Be quiet now. That's enough. Be quiet. All right, you be quiet. Let us all stand. We're ready to have prayer. A preacher should know how to conduct himself. Don't say nothing, Armstrong. We're ready to have prayer. We're ready to have prayer, Armstrong. Go ahead, Brother Ben.